Welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts, where craft beer and hat and crafts combine, usually in a messy way, and today is no exception. Would you quit throwing my mess out for everyone to see? <laughs> Seriously. Oh, this is going to be a fun one, though. All right. Cool. Now, I forget. What did you say? Welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts. What's the whole line? Welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts, where craft beer and handcrafts combine, usually in a messy way. <laughs> Today is a messy way, obviously. And they combined all right. I just threw another darn drop on Why the table. Why would you do such a thing? Shut up, Chew. <laughs> See? We, we need a new beer. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts. I'm Mallory. Chu is between two cameras this time. That was so awkward. Oh. Hi! I can't, well, I guess I can show both of those, but that's a lot more editing. Stop it. What time you did some work? <gasps> oh, you were gonna pay for that later. <laughs> Guys, he's going down. Anyway, I have a very fun craft plan for Microphone Brewing Company. To give you a quick layout, uh, I picked up a inexpensive lamp at Goodwill. I picked up some 99 cent records. I picked up some lovely fabric, which has sequins on one side. It kind of looks like the material they make microphone, microphones out of, the, the part that you speak into. So I thought this would be really fun. I'm going to be laying this fabric over these two records as a lampshade for this lamp that I'm painting blue to match their decor at microphone. It's going to be super cute. I'm really excited. But before I can start a beer craft, I need a beer. Today we are having one from Microphone Brewing Company in Elk Grove Village. They teamed up with Roaring Table Brewing Company in Lake Zurich to make a stout is a porter when neck beards take over. It's the second of a two-part collaboration focusing on the glories of porter. You should find notes of powdered chocolate, toffee, cafe au lait, and fudge brownie. They use centennial hops in this one and it is a 6.7 ABV. Let's see how it smells. I'm getting the powdered chocolate first. Bitter, bitter chocolate, uh, like, Baking 70, chocolate? No, like 70 to 80 percent like dark chocolate. There's vanilla too. Strong vanilla in the scent. And almost like a, a woody, a wooden scent to it. I don't believe this one was barrel aged, but I'm getting a hint of that. I don't know. Cheers everyone to the first beer of Microphone's Craft. Mmm. And again with that 70-80% pure chocolate, the, the dark, dark chocolate. That comes through first. And I'm, I'm still getting a woody flavor from it. That's really interesting. I didn't anticipate that, but not boozy. Doesn't come across super boozy. It's only a 6.7. My voice did weird things during that sentence, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Um, <laughs> there is a, a bitter bite to the end. The vanilla sits right in the middle of the sip. The dark chocolate first, the vanilla in the middle. There is a hint of toffee, but it's burnt toffee. Caramelized sugar toffee, that, that level. But that is real smooth. Do you know how long it took for her to give me a drink, guys? <laughs> I forgot, I gotta actually taste this and not just drink it. He's just pounding it back. He's like, oh, whatever. I don't know. Let's see, what was the flavors they said? Powdered chocolate, toffee, cafe au lait, and fudge brownie. Yeah, I can see that. And the cafe au lait is probably that creamy, vanilla-y kind of thing I, I got was gonna in the say, middle. That must be the wood. Most cafes are built out of wood. Coffee with milk, cafe au lait. <laughs> Guys, really. Help. Help. Would you quit finishing my beer? Are you seeing this? It was a very complex beard. A beer. <laughs> when neck beards <laughs> take over, yes. I have my beer. We're gonna get to crafting. 
first things first. Drink your beer. Mm -hmm. Next things next, I have this black lamp here that I am going to paint blue. So we are headed down to the garage. Let's go guys. Dun, 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 Why the Wicked Witch theme? Oh. You jerk. <laughs> dun, 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 You're about to get spray painted yourself, Buster. Um. Beep, 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 <laughs> Um, sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows, Daffy. Uh, help. Help. Had my lamp set up. Use masking tape around here because I only want to paint this portion blue. I also use masking tape and paper to hide the cords so that won't get painted and I put an extra protection up here where the light bulb goes in because I don't want any paint getting down in there either. I am gonna shake up some paint. The obligatory shake and sip, everyone. That splashed my face. <laughs> I'm glad you find this so amusing, darling. Uh -huh. Just know that I'm finishing off this beer before you get any more. That's okay, I don't even have the cameras running, so this is pretty funny. <laughs> Always read your instructions. Always. And drink beer when you do the paint. And drink beer when you paint. Wait, don't follow that one. Follow that one. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, pretty color. I'm gonna let this dry. We're gonna come out and check it out for layer two. Layer number two. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's drinking the beer. Come. Letting the paint dry. Cheers, everybody. So we're back upstairs now while the lamp is drying and we are going to get started on the lamp shade. First thing you're gonna need, single record. We measured the Circumference. Thank you. I kept saying diameter and he was yelling at me. Um, well, then yelling at you. <laughs> we measured the circumference I of the record. I was politely <laughs> suggesting that you use the right name. Says the man who called me by the wrong name the first two years we were dating. Yeah. Whenever he introduced me to anyone, his family, his friends, he called me by the wrong name for two years. He introduced me to a friend of his, Mike, at his work, and he said, Mike, this is Emily. And Mike said, Emily's my wife. This one's Mallory, right? <laughs> the one you're dating? And he's like, oh yeah, sorry. He called me Emily. He called me Melissa. Oh, what were some? Uh, he called me Jessica. Uh, Melody. 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 Um, he got my name wrong all the time for two years but only when he's introducing me to someone so every time he introduces me to someone they would go oh well, that's not gonna last long and here we are 10 years later and i still put up with him i don't know why just a fun little story <laughs> little insight into you know how chew is very specific with what words i use <laughs> anyway come on helen would you shush so i can get on with this <laughs> all right I had to measure the circumference yeah, of the record. I don't really care what the real name is. <laughs> you're about to eat this record. Seriously. Right, shut up. For right now, what you're going to need is your fabric, your record, an embroidery needle. I suggest one with a large eye because you're going to be using embroidery floss for this. And, well, embroidery floss. I'm just gonna take some black thread, nothing fancy. When you buy embroidery floss, it has six strands. You're going to strip this down to, I'd say three strands. You don't want the full six because that is nearly impossible to put through the eye of a needle and it's just such a pain and I don't want to deal. I will need a pair of scissors, darling. Could you hand me one? I think I know what my job is. You're the sizzlers, scissors wrangler. Call me gopher. 
I would say go for coffee, but I'd rather have a beer. Me too. Mm. Ah. But yeah, there were six strands here. Separating out three. Wrap around the finger. Roll it to the end. And you have a sufficient knot that will hold just fine. And as I did all this, I have my thread totally ready for sewing the fabric. I have not yet cut the fabric. I should probably get that done too. <laughs> so we're gonna continue on from last craft of impatiently Mallory. <laughs> impatiently Mallory crafts. This fabric is fairly see-through. Now that side has all sequins, so it's probably mm. very sparkly. The back side does not have the sequins on. It has a little sparkle, but it's less so. I kind of like that more because I think it looks more like an actual microphone. And the sequins on the inside still give a teensy bit of sparkle without being overwhelmingly New Year's Eve dress style. <laughs> the back side of the fabric is going to be facing out on this craft. Luckily, there are straight vertical lines throughout the fabric. So I can actually probably just follow that straight vertical line to make this exactly perfect on both sides. I already have a guideline built in. I love that. It makes me happy. As far as the height, I was intending to make it, I'm gonna start out by making it about 16 inches. I am now cutting it down to 34 and I'm gonna give that a look. <laughs> God. It's raining broken sequins. It's raining broken sequins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is not the word I would have gone to, but okay, sure. So I did a back stitch all the way up to the top, hem across, back stitch all the way down, hem across, and now I'm doing the hem all the way around the top and bottom to finish it out. So once I tighten the top around, you won't have all those bumpies up there. And this is gonna be what the lampshade looks like with another record sitting at the bottom. I'm really excited, this is going really well. Before I can get to all of that, I need another beer. It's a beer craft, gotta have a beer. And we have from Microphone Brewing, once again, this one's called Nature's Candy. This is a peach Berliner Weiss, so. Ooh, that's mine. I know, Chu loves the Berliner Weiss style, so. I think he's very excited about this. I am not seeing an ABV on here. That's what I was looking for. Oh, 5.2, 5.2. Slide the craft away before opening the beer because learned my lesson. Ooh, that had a lovely sound. Oh, it did spray. <laughs> wow, it sprayed quite a ways, didn't it? Yes. It was going after that craft, wasn't it? It was actually trying to get into my mouth. Mm-hmm, okay. Let's see how it looks. While you pour, I'm gonna be singing Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Millions of peaches, peaches for you. I don't know the words. Peaches for free. For free, yay! This wasn't free though. Oh. We, we paid for our beer. Oh. Actually, yeah, that is the color of a peach. Unripened peach, but still peach. Foamy, soapy head. And it's a lot of peach. That's a lot of peach in the nose there. Woohoo! Let's see how it tastes. <sighs> I'm sorry, Chew. You're not gonna like this one. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. You're not gonna like this give one. Give it at to all. me. Give me, give me, give it, me, give it's, me, give me. It's not what you want at all. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I'll, I'll just finish this. I know you don't want anything that's. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is delicious. Oh my gosh. It is tart. It's a little tangy even. There's a tanginess, like a, a saltiness to it. Uh, Goza style, but not quite. Barely ripe peach. Just almost ripe. Not quite. But oh, that is really good. <laughs> it makes you salivate a lot. That's one and a half puckers. She's just doing a lot of talking because she doesn't want to give me the beer. You're not going to like it. I know her tricks. Here you go, darling. Give me that beer. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> it almost gonna sound weird, but I'm getting a peach fuzzy taste. I can like, see that. Or 
feel to it. Like there is no really sediment in it, but no. I, I get that. But it feels thick. It feels like a beer made with puree. You have a thickness to it without it actually being mm. thick. When you're looking at it, you're not seeing that smoothie look, but the mouthfeel is very smoothie-like. It got a, actually, it has a mouthfeel of a mimosa. It does, it does have a mouthfeel of a mimosa. Not the flavor, obviously, because this is actually a peach mimosa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a peach mimosa. This is definitely more tartar and sour, which I like better. Yeah, but that is delicious. So I'm going to get on with the hemming. Uh, this is going to be quite tedious, so I assume y'all don't want to sit here and watch me just stitch and stitch and stitch, because it'll take forever. Um, so I'll see you in a minute when we have the shade all sewn. Cheers. So the hems are all sewed up. There's a little bowing, but I'm not too concerned about that. I know it's tight enough to stay put. Our next step is going to be taking our bottom record and dremeling out the center so someone can reach up inside and turn on the lamp. I would cheers you, but I finished my beer. <laughs> cheers, everyone. Moving on to the next step, that is dremeling out the center of the record to make a space for someone to turn on the light because the light switch is up inside. So as I've said before, we are not going to teach people how to use power tools on this channel. There are so many great YouTube channels that you can go to with experts who can teach you how to proper, properly use to, uh, power tools. It would be inconceivable of us to teach people how to do this. We are going to be taking care of this and I'll show you after we do the cutting and the sanding it down to make it all pretty and then we'll put it all together. Here we go. How many fingers you got before? Oh, uh, right now I have 10. Okay. Uh, also, while we do use this, one thing I will say, I will be wearing a mask because I do not want to breathe whatever records are made of. Uh, I will Vinyl. also... Yeah, vinyl, thank you, duh. <laughs> that was great. Uh, I don't want to breathe that. I will also be wearing protective eye gear because always read your instructions. This came with instructions, read them. We've got our lamp. We've got the bottom of our lampshade. Hey, Chew! We got Chew telling everybody what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first year or so I was dating Chu, my dad called him Ah. Mm -hmm. Take a moment, think about it. Okay, you got there. That so, was my first name. <laughs> ah. This actually, the dremeling of this, the speed of the, the spinning actually just melted it. Um, so the cutting of this, it was like cutting through butter. It was really easy. Top's loose, so I have to screw that back on. She broke it. Cheers, everyone. I'm not sure how I feel about the light bulb we chose. Now this one is energy efficient, all the things, but we might pick up one of the fun, neat looking one. Plus, I think this one might be too bright for how see-through the shade is. And I want it to kind of be a mood light rather than a, here you go, you're blinded light. <laughs> True. Really? Huh. You've been wanting to sing all night and you didn't sing Blinded by the Light? I, I don't even know what to do with them, guys. I really don't. That's too easy. Blinded by the light. Mm. Wrapped up like a chew. No? No. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we are ready Wait. for... Wait. She blinded me with science. Boop, 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 boop. I blinded you with arts and crafts. She blinded me with arts and crafts. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> or possibly with a light bulb. We're gonna find out in a second. I have the shade that I made with the record in the top. I am going to slide this guy up inside. Actually, that hem looks to be holding pretty yeah, well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that fits like perfectly yep. in there. Ah, oh, yes. I love it when things work. We are going to place this on here 
And the little post on top is ex almost exactly the size of the hole in the top of the record. We are gonna screw this on. All right. <laughs> you can see where the seam was, but it doesn't look bad. No. You just put that either in the back or the front. Yeah, are, are, we, are we ready to turn it on? Yep. Can we, wait, maybe we shouldn't, because I have also been thinking, like, should I put music notes down here well, and stuff? But I'm kind of liking how it looks. Let's see how it looks when you turn it on. It's, it's very simplistic, and I kind of like the look. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, okay. Oh, it's no, I, I know. It is plugged in. I know where the switch is, because you have to reach up inside. That's why I had to cut a hole through a record. Yeah, we definitely gotta get a fancy one. We, we do, we need to get one of those pretty soft bulbs. But I love that the inside has the sparkles. That's true. And I'm seeing it from the outside. I love that. I love that fabric with the you sequins. what we can maybe do is that bronze thingy, paint that black. Oh, the yes. Loop. I think we should paint the that black. The loop holding this up, we should paint that black. Yeah. You're right. Because you can see that a little too clearly. Yeah. I think we should paint that black and then everything will be good. 100%. That is an amazing idea, darling. I love it. I am so happy with this one. Oh, it's going to be so pretty when we get the proper bulb in and we paint that silver black. And I can see that RCA on yeah, the record yeah. underneath, mm -hmm. inside. That is gorgeous and it makes me very happy. I'm so ridiculously pleased. And the length was perfect. Yeah. Yep. The length was Agreed. perfect. So I did 16 inches height on the fabric out of curiosity. Oh, it ended up at 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, it's a 12 inch height. Uh, but again, whatever lamp you choose to start with, it's going to change the length that you want your shade to be anyway. Um, I will admit I guesstimated on this one. I, I had a general idea of where I wanted it to be, but I was not being specific on that. And I think you all know why. Why? The same reason I called the channel Imperfectly Me Crafts. I have a, a crazy tendency to eyeball everything most of the time. Occasionally I measure when I know I have to, but otherwise I kind of just that looks about right and then I end up having to do stuff several times over which drives him absolutely insane because he is the methodical logical brain um, so it drives him crazy <laughs> if we were both going to be doing the same craft or project at the same time we probably would both get done at the same time and let's say it would take two hours. For the first hour, I would be sitting in a chair looking at it. Standing out, <laughs> looking at it from a different view and all this stuff. So she would just jump in right away, do it, and then oh, have to tear it all apart and redo it again. Oh, have to tear it apart and redo it again. Yeah, I would end up doing everything three or four times. He would only do it once. We would both have perfectly legitimate things that we came up with. And they're about the same amount of time. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. It would be. And I think that's kind of fun. It's going to look so pretty tomorrow. I can't wait to show you guys. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. See you in the morning. She can't do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Our microphone brewery lamp special record lampshade in their colors. It makes me so happy. Uh, we even got a bulb with like the spiral filament in it because it looks freaking cool. And I love it so much. And this has been really fun to make. This was a one day craft, single day. And it was really easy. Like just fun and simple. This is definitely a craft that you could do with kids. It's also repurposing, which I really love taking something that someone's getting rid of because it's not something they wanted, like this lamp here, and making it into something new and exciting. And I can't wait to give this to Microphone. I really hope they love it. 
And you know, if you haven't been, check them out. They're doing amazing stuff with their beer. The staff is phenomenal. Everyone was so nice when we were there. And they have all these events, especially music events. If you're a music lover, this is the place to be if you love your beer and your music. They're great. So you really, really gotta check them out. If you haven't already, don't leave us untapped. Make sure to tap that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never have to miss one of my crafty messes again. And I made a heck of a mess this time. <laughs> Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week with a brewery tour. Cheers, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us at Imperfectly Me Crafts, where craft beer and hand crafts combine almost always in a messy way. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. I just committed the worst beer offense ever. I spilled my beer. On the craft. I'm gonna survive. That's why I take the beer away from her and she gets mad then. Look at my butt, look at my butt, look at my butt. Hmm. I should hide my face though so it focuses, right? Isn't that a thing? I don't know, phones do that, right? I think you should just hide your face. Hmm. <laughs> You're mean. But don't look at me when you talk, look at one of them. Don't you? <laughs>